Okay, guys, let's go. This question two, they say, given the equation of the curve is this one, okay? So A, they say, find the stationary points of the curve. Can anyone tell me? This question, which chapter? This question. Very good, Angelina. Form 5, Chapter 2. I hope you guys Form 5, Chapter 2 is good. I hope you guys have some basic of it. I really hope that, okay? So this one is actually an equation of curve. That's what they try to give you. And A, they say find the stationary point. Can anyone tell me stationary point? We can also name it as what? Stationary point. Very good, Yin Ting. Turning points. Can anyone tell me other than turning points? We can also name it as what? Stationary point, turning points. Very good, Lucas. Maximum point, minimum point. So all this is the same meaning of stationary point, okay? So can anyone tell me, whenever under form 5, chapter 2, whenever you see the word stationary point, maximum point, minimum point, turning point, you will think about what formula? Very good, Lucas. We will think about dy dx equals to 0. Isn't it? We will definitely think about this formula. dy dx equals to 0. Okay, no matter. So with this particular formula, so now, what can I do with? Okay, see ya. So since you know dy dx equals 0, I think definitely you guys will do dy dx equals 0. So you will take your y and then you guys will start to differentiate it. So dy dx. Okay? So we will times and then we will minus 1. So this is 1 here. 4 times 1, 4. Power minus 1, 3. 3 times 4, 12. Power minus 1, 2. I hope you guys all know how to differentiate, okay? Differentiation is times after that minus 1. So you times, you minus 1. You times, you minus 1. I think your school teacher already teach you. And 1 differentiate, 0. Okay? So once I get my dy dx, then I will equivalent to 0. Because we know dy dx equals 0 under stationary point, correct? So once they equal to 0, now, my dear, remember, whenever you want to simplify, whatever you want to do, like any general form, you're going to simplify it. So I think all of them can divide by 4. Let me divide by 4 first. Okay? After divide by 4, please don't tell me divide by x squared. Please understand that whenever you guys got x cubed, x squared, your answer should more than 1. So if you divide by x squared, you only left one answer. Then your answer is inaccurate. So therefore, you must actually using factorization. It's either you're using your calculator to press or you just manually factorize. And very good, Angelina. x cubed and x squared, I can pull out x squared. I got 3x, you got 2x. Minimum, we got 2. Ma. So pull out 2 out. So 3, we pull out 2, we left 1. 2, we pull out 2, no more. Isn't it left this? Okay? Can you guys all see this is whatever you guys are having so far? So my dear, now I got 2 bracket, right? If you're manually doing this, do anyone still remember? Because this particular, this particular week, I exactly got teach something like that. How do we manually do it when we got two bracket equivalent to zero? Hey, eh? no one remember. These two bracket equal to zero. Very good, Angelina. The bracket take turns equals zero. This is actually how you guys manually getting the answer, my dear. So squared move it over square root. Minus three move it over plus three. Please don't tell me you rejected zero, my dear. Zero have no problem at all. So all these answers make sense, one okay? So I got two answers. I get two answers, that means I got two stationary points. One is zero, one is three, okay? But this question, oh, asking you to find stationary points. You think why my answer is not points yet? Very good, very good, Yashwini, because points means coordinate. Coordinate answer must have X, must have Y. You just found your x, remember to find your y, yeah? So how do you find the y? Sub back. So you just sub back to the equation of y. So I realized, oh, my y is 1. So isn't it the first coordinate is 0, 1. Very good, Ramu. Next one, my dear. y equals to 3 power 4 minus 4. Then 4. Eh, sorry, this is 3. Then 3 cubed plus 1. So isn't it 3 power 4 minus 4 bracket 3 cubed plus 1. I guess getting negative 26. I guess getting 3, negative 26. Just like that, done. One of them equals to 0. Because you move the other bracket to the other side, then becomes 0. No, Amy. Amy, every single time when we press calculator for general form, right? Isn't it we will write 2 bracket equals to 0? Am I right, Amy? Yes, uh -huh. do you remember, Amy? When your answer is 3 or let's say negative 5, isn't it when you write backwards, you write x minus 3 and x plus 5? Is it correct? Yes, all. And then, actually, when you do it, if you manually doing it, uh, do you know how is the real method of doing it? It's actually the first bracket equals to zero. Therefore, x equals to negative 3, move it over positive 3. Can you see? This is actually how they get the answer. So, x plus 5 equals to zero. So, x actually equals to negative 5. That's why negative 5. Ah, so this is actually the original way of doing it. You never know about it. It's because you just always look at the calculator and then just write backwards. But when I need you to manually do it, this is how you manually do it. 
Can I? So guys, just like that, I done my A. So A done, guys. Let's move on B. B, they say, hands. Determine the nature of each of the stationary points by using tangent sketching method. Okay, guys, what is the meaning of it? Can anyone tell me, what is the meaning of nature? Like, what kind of stationary point, what kind of nature? Very good, Zuyan. Maximum, minimum point. My dear, nature means maximum, minimum point. Can I give you guys some context, some basic about it? Can anyone tell me, whenever or you want to know, whenever you want to know a point, whether they are a maximum point or minimum point, what you guys normally will do? Very good in thing, uh, everyone, listen. Uh, for those who don't know, never mind, you learn now, okay? Every single time you want to know whether they are maximum or minimum, you guys will check D2Y DX squared. So D2Y DX squared to check what? Whether they are, very good, my Zaza, second derivative, very good, D2Y DX squared, to check whether they are, very good, Angelina, positive or negative. Can anyone tell me positive? When you are a very positive person, you always smile. Very good, Yin Ting. So smile, the point is at the bottom or we call it minimum. When you are a very negative person, you're always very sad. So isn't it the turning point is on top? So it's maximum. Correct? You can use D2Y, DX square to check. But if you came my class before, I taught you already. Nowadays, they like to come out the third type. Can anyone tell me the third type? Okay, I have no space for that. I put here. The third type. Very good, Yuvida. Oh, so good. Very good, Zuli. Wow, very good, Yvonne. Exactly, my dear. Whenever the two ideas square, you get positive, negative, or oh, actually, oh, your potential to get zero. Zero oh, is not maximum already. It's not minimum already. And the graph oh, is not happy set already. It will look like this. It will look like a snake, like what Yvonne said. It will go up, flatten up. It will go down, flatten down. And... The flattened part is the stationary point. Because stationary point, that means they are horizontal. One. So you see, they are horizontal one, right? So actually, it will look like that. So when it look like that, all this kind of point, we call it very good, very good. Jala, we call it inflection point. So if these questions, they never say, okay, if these questions are, they say, determine the nature of each of the st stationary point. You just do the 2 idx square. And then you see whether they are positive, negative, or zero. So quite easy one. But now they say using tangent sketching method. Oi. Now, this method I never teach. La. So, guys, what is the method? What is the meaning of in tangent sketching method? Okay, quite obvious. La. The name called sketching. So, you need to sketch. So, now let me teach you guys how to do tangent sketching method. But now, since we have two points, all right, we're going to analyze one by one. So, let's start from the zero one. Okay, so we're going to test. This zero one is maximum la, minimum la, or inflection point. So what can we do? Okay, first ah, guys, tangent sketching method or need to draw a table. Okay? And this tangent sketching method always come with four columns. Like that. Okay, like that. Four columns. Okay? So the first row always write X. Why always write X? Okay, let me analyze you guys why it will look like that, okay? No need to like really memorize it. I think it's quite makes sense and quite easy to relate also, okay? So this method called tangent sketching method, right? So my dear, I want to sketch a tangent. Quite obvious, la, that's what the name say, la, correct? Can anyone tell me tangent is a what? Actually relate to the previous chapter also, the one I just said. Very good thing, Hazel is a line, correct, my dear? It's a line touching the curve and... Very good, Xiao Qing. One point. See, everything are tangent is touching one point. Just how in circular measure, they're touching circle at one point. Now this one curve, they're touching curve at one point. So this is a curve. Ah. There's a point. Ah. This line. Now this line called tangent. Can you guys see it? So this line called tangent. Okay? So that means I want to draw this tangent out. Then, let me give you some basic about a straight line. Can anyone tell me how you draw a straight line? It depends on what? Don't tell me our teacher the length. No, the length can short, long. No one care, my dear. But how you draw the straight line out? Like, like maybe, you see, ah, maybe like that, or like that, or like this, or like this. How you know? Very good, Lydia, based on gradient. Can I ask you some basic? If your gradient is positive, how does the straight line look like? Very good, Jala, going up. Rising star, very good. Whenever they are negative, then they are. Very good, Adina, dropping down. Whenever they are zero, how we look like? Oh? Very good, Jala, horizontal. When the gradient is undefined, very good, Weka, vertical. Now, this is basic, okay? So, that's why. 
These questions, I know. I just want to draw the tangent out. That means, uh, that means uh, guys, tangent sketching method, oh, isn't it? I need to find the gradient for tangent. Because I know the gradient, only I know how the line looks like. Uh, correct? But the problem is, how do we find gradient tangent? Eh? So do anyone remember under this particular chapter from 5 chapter 2 differentiation? Do you remember how do you find gradient for tangent? Gradient of tangent always equivalent to very good Yin Ting and Xiao Qing dy dx. You see? This chapter, everything you need to know, oh my dear. Gradient of tangent actually same as dy dx. That means if I want to find out, if I want to draw out the tangent, I need to find out dy dx. And how do we find dy dx? You think about it. All the dy dx equation now. See, the dy dx equation is here. All the dy dx equation is only inside got x. Therefore, I must have x law. So that explains that why I got one row called x. Because I need the x so that I can sub inside to find the dy dx. Understand now, my dear? Then the x, what should I sub or see? Ah? You must be thinking, teacher, I just checking 0, 1. Why you need three columns? Because this 0, 1, you will put in the, put in the middle. So you are checking 0. Okay, you want to check zero. Zero is actually the person you want to check. Then, guys, guys I of course I know uh, it's here, ma. Correct? No matter your inflection, maximum or minimum, I already know you are zero. But I'm curious of what is in front of you. What is at the back of you? What is in front of you? What is at the back of you? What is in front of you? What is at the back of you? Therefore, I will find before zero and after zero. So before zero got what? Okay, can thinking negative one. For those students who don't like negative one, you want to put negative. Okay, don't tell me negative hundred. That's way too far. You shouldn't put somewhere so far. One. You should put somewhere nearer. So you don't like negative one. Normally we put whole number lah. But if they are decimal, normally we put decimal lah. So if you don't like negative one, you can put negative zero point five, negative uh one over four, negative zero point one, negative zero point two. All the number are within a range of one unit should be fine. Lah. Okay. So let's say I put whole number, negative one. Then another side, I put one. Okay, no matter. So you see, ah, actually, I want to check zero, one. So zero is the one I want to check. I put in the middle. Then this one, I put before zero. Another side, I put after zero. So after this, what is the next one? Next one, of course, I'm going to find dy dx. Because dy dx represents the gradient for your tangent. Correct? So this working, no need to show teacher. Lah, but you just need to sub inside. So you press calculator, ah. Huh? So four negative one cube minus twelve bracket negative one square. Oh, negative sixteen. Thank you, thinking. Next one, continue sub zero inside. Zero sub inside. No need to check, lah. Just now we exactly do dy dx equals zero. Only get the answer, ma. Of course, it's zero. And then sub the one inside also. So one we sub inside four minus twelve. Isn't it getting negative eight? Guys, I done getting all. And with this, ah. Huh? Can sketch already, lo. You see, ah, my dear? This method called tangent sketching method. So now you guys can sketch the tangent. Now you think twice, ah. You tell me tangent is a what? It's a straight line. Of course, now you guys can draw the straight line out. Can anyone tell me? If my gradient is negative, that means they are thinking. No need the sign is fine. They won't deduct your marks without the sign. Very good, Hazel. That means they are going down. Okay? Then this one is negative. That means they are going down also. Okay? Then if you are zero, you are very good Adina horizontal. Isn't it? Down, horizontal, down. Guys, like this, ah, you still don't know you are what kind of point, right? Because you separate, you separate drawing it, correct? So of course, if we are a graph, we will combine them together. Therefore, you have the last, last row. The last row called sketch curve. Sketch curve, that means you will draw it together. So you see, you say down, horizontal down. Isn't it you draw it together, it will look like this. Wow, well, guys, look at my drawing. Make sense or not? Down, horizontal down. So down, horizontal down. Hey, okay? I'm asking the horizontal part. So what point we call that? Very good. Isn't it we call it in... Okay, no, I should write nicely. Zero, one is inflection point. See, this is how you guys do it. Everyone, so far so good or not? Can understand everything I say or not? Quite easy, right? It's not that hard. Of course, the two ideas quite easiest. Lah, but this one is a new method called tangent sketching method. So if your midterm coming out, you must know how to do. Okay? So my dear, how do I do, continue to do this? So this 3, negative 26. So now we're going to test this one. So same thing. 
draw the same table. I draw here. Ah. So my dear, draw a table. Write the first column. Okay, wait. I move up a bit. It's get not enough space. Like that. Eh. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Okay? So guys, this X. Okay? So now, I'm checking what? For three. So three in front got what? Two. Three at the back got what? Four. Okay? So now, we're going to find D, Y, D, X. So I repeat again, just sub it inside the dy dx equation. So 2, 4, 2 cubed minus 12, 2 square, negative 60. 3, le, 3 sub inside, 0. Because just now we dy dx equals 0, only we get 3. The next one, 4, le, 4, 4 cubed minus 12, 4 square, 64. Okay, guys, I done getting all this. Okay, once I'm getting all this, now I'm going to sketch the tangent. Some school teacher they will put sign for uh sign for dy dx like positive or negative ah you want to put that also can but that is not necessary lah just put the key will do okay so my dear sketch the tangent how do you sketch negative going down zero horizontal positive going up isn't it done drawing again so after this now we're gonna sketch the curve understand sketch the curve that means sketch out everything together. So guys, they are down, horizontal, up. Oh, you are a happy human. So guys, if you are a happy human, on three that time, you are here. So this dot, isn't it quite obvious, means you are minimum point. So 326 is minimum, is a minimum point. Is a minimum point. That new one so far so good. Teacher, can you zoom out? I want to screenshot. Of course, like that. Can everyone okay or not? Understand everything? I hope you learn well. I hope chapter one I help you. Tangent sketching method also I help you. Can can can. Okay, thank you everyone. See you when I see you. Bye bye. Good luck for your midterm. Annyeong. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Singyi. Bye-bye, Angelina. Bye-bye, Zuling. Bye-bye. See you on the next time.